Andy Vance. Today we're doing a video test drive of the Sea Ray Sundancer 280. This is a really capable weekend family cruise boat, but it's got some great performance characteristics that'll let your kids enjoy wakeboarding and tubing as well. We're going to walk you through it right now, starting with some of the great entertaining features that you'll find here in the cockpit. One of the neat things that we found on board the Sea Ray 280 is the way that Sea Ray has taken things and given them kind of a double purpose like the helm station seat. The back flips back so that you can recline back. It swivels around and now it joins the entire cockpit seating area so that you can join the conversation with your friends. Now for entertaining, you've got this really cool galley here which has got an electric grill and a freshwater sink. You've got storage down below it for a cooler, a waste basket and a place to keep a few cleaning supplies. Step aft with me. I'd like to show you some of the features we found back there. Now to give double benefits to the great features that Sea Ray's built into the cockpit seating, they even developed this neat trick. We love the way the back of that seat folds down and gives you a full sun pad facing aft. It's right up here next to the swim platform. You can have a seat on it, watch your kids swim. Now that's pretty cool, but what's really neat, some of the storage conveniences that you have on board. Take a look at this flip this open, you've got a place for your shore power, a couple of fenders, and your dock lines. That's really handy. Now right here is where you're going to hook up your shore power, and your fresh water import is right here. You've even got a remote control for the radio and stereo so you can control your tunes from in the water. Now one added convenience on board that we found that we really like is this hot and cold fresh water shower. When you step into the boat from swimming, you can rinse off and do it comfortably. Now the 280 Sun Dancer that we tested is equipped with this extended bimini top. That's optional, gives you added sun protection, and it also comes with full curtains, which will extend your boating season in cooler weather. That's a really nice touch. What I'd like to do next is walk you through the cabin forward, so come with me. Down below in the cabin, we found plenty to make it comfortable for a weekend on the water. Now this boat's equipped with an optional gen set and an air conditioner, it'll be very cool. But there's plenty of ventilation coming in from this forward hatch, and the portals that open up and they're screened as well. Now you've got a full galley here with a microwave, a cooktop, a freshwater sink, and even a 12 volt refrigerator. That's a really nice setup. Now drop this table down here and your dinette area becomes an extra wide double berth making it easy for two people to sleep comfortably. Aft you've got a cabin with another double berth to let you sleep your kids. Now that's a lot of convenience but there's even some more convenience on board and some fun. Take a look at this. Now for entertainment, the stereo on board is tucked into the circuit panel where you control all the electrical circuits on the boat. There's even an iPod bracket and a USB port for bringing your electronic tunes on board. We like that setup, it keeps it safe and sound and there's remotes at the dash. You've even got a DVD and a television in here and your kids are going to love that. For added convenience, there's a full head with a pump out toilet, fresh water sink and a shower. It's a really nice setup for weekends. Now, I've given you a really good look at the great features on board. Right now, we're going to take a look at the results from our performance testing earlier today. Our test boat was equipped with a Mercruiser 496 Mag HO with a Bravo 3 drive, and it was turning 24 inch props. Our test load was 400 pounds of passengers and 40 gallons of fuel. With that setup, we reached a top speed of 42.3 miles per hour at 4,900 RPM. But our most economical and easy cruising speed was 32 miles per hour at 3,500 RPM. At that speed, we burned just 16.9 gallons per hour and got an impressive 1.9 miles per gallon, giving us a very long cruising range. The 280 Sun Dancer was easy to handle, almost like a sport boat in the open water, and gave us rapid acceleration and crisp turns. It was easy around the dock as well. One of the nice benefits of the Mercruiser SmartCraft equipped boats is the SmartCraft information system, which helps you manage engine maintenance, fuel flow, and other engine functions. One of my favorite Mercruiser benefits is digital throttle and shift. This drive-by-wire system uses electronics to control the throttle and shift instead of stiff and often unyielding mechanical cables. The result is easy shifting and pinpoint throttle control. Well, that's our virtual test drive of the Sea Ray 280 Sun Dancer. It's a great cruising boat for family weekends, and it's got sport boat capability, which is going to make it a lot of fun for your kids. The only way you can get a better look at this boat is to schedule your own sea trial at your Sea Ray dealer.